Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. We're just going to dive into VeChain right now. Um, once again, thank you for your continued support across the channel. The sharing is caring, okay? And, and I really appreciate all the sharing that you all do on Twitter, on Facebook, social media, with your family and friends. I get so many uh, messages saying, uh, my friend uh, told me to come and check your channel out. Just I want to thank you for, for helping me learn and and obviously make a bit of money in the space as well, which is what we all want to do. But thank you for helping me understand what's going on more. And that's basically what the channel is about, okay? Bring a level of sort of expertise to yourself because it is a volatile space. It is a scary space. It is equally nice and rewarding when we're making money and it can be equally scary and, scary and terrifying when you're losing money, okay? That's why, that's why what we do in this channel is show you levels of support, levels of resistance, and just a bit of common sense and logic, okay? You've got the moon boys on crypto saying that VeChain is going to go to a dollar and stuff like that. Okay, perhaps it will. Okay, but in the meantime, we'll show you those little steps that it can take towards that process because we have got some exuberant um, price predictions that we made earlier on in the channel for, for VeChain. It's obviously going to the moon. It's a fantastic project. But in the meantime, you are going to run into resistance. And, and as you can see right now, as you can see right now, VeChain is absolutely flying. OK, we gave that price prediction in yesterday's video here off the FIB extension of showing you how to do all that. And you can see it's just marching onwards and upwards. It's fantastic. It's great. It's starting to go a little bit vertical. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, we did say keep an eye on the RSI level here at the moment. You can see that that's that's getting all the way up there at 78. We did say keep an eye on that in, in, in the VeChain chart because you can see when it gets up at that level. OK, you got up at that level over there, it rolled over go with that level over there so effectively you can look at previous price history to sort of say okay you might be hitting a bit of a ceiling here i would expect right not financial advice but we, we may you can see we've had no sort of consolidation in in this four hourly candles here it's just one four hourly candle after the other which is going to the upside which is amazing okay i'm not gonna lie it's amazing you sit back and watch it just taking off look at that <laughs> look at that rocket shit that's amazing um, look at it, the, the trail behind. That's that's just a rocket ship to Mars, that is, right now. But obviously, just always apply a bit of common sense, okay? And uh, I do expect that if you was to get up to that target, you may you may hit a level of resistance right there. This is what the FIBs are for. They're amazing, okay? And traders will be targeting these as well. I mean, if we was to drop the the other extensions in on the FIB now, you may see that that's particularly where these wicks and these sort of stop levels are. So we'll drop this in because this, this is what traders do. I'm, I'm teaching you everything here. I'm trying to educate you in the space and be completely completely transparent with you and completely honest so we'll drop the 1414 in you can see it's not quite met that yet and we drop the 1272 in so look at that 172 that's where exactly where it's just bounced do you see that so it's hit it said there come back down i found it a support and now it's marching on again so these are all extensions that you can drop in to find resistance on the way up but like i said to you if if if, if you see something going up like this and it's just bouncing off the yellow line it's not falling through and, and not necessarily touching the red line then then the 168 the 1618 extension sorry that that really does cause fruitful it's a really good target to get to okay don't know why don't ask me it's fibonacci it just it exists everywhere okay it's amazing it's an amazing tool um and like i said to you all the pro traders are using it and, and then that's what they've got their eyes on and that's why you might potentially see it sort of fall short come back down and then smash it so that's your target at the moment the 19 cents so hopefully we can get there but you can see it has got a little bit overextended the case so again what you could do i'm sorry i'm going to drop them back in because you might you might hit this 1414 Okay, this this particular level here, you can see that level there, which is at zero uh one seven nine four nine three seven four. Okay, so you might see it run into that and, and think why if that's not there you might think why is it ran into something and hit it said and that's potentially what it is okay you might run into the 141 on on the fib so i'm going to leave that level in for you now to keep an eye on because you may you may see it hit it said there and start to fall back and that again is perfectly healthy if it did do that okay and you might think oh it's going to crash it's going to crash but that is our target on this impulsive wave okay up there at 19 cents so it's looking good it's looking good but again always exercise caution and when you're seeing things go vertical you know do take profits because you it will always come back down to this yellow line okay and for those of you not involved okay you're going to get better entries on this yellow line which is the 20 EMA on the four hourly especially okay because if i zoom out now if i zoom out now on the daily you can see how potentially extended it's getting on the daily okay you're starting to go a little bit vertical just there do you see that but it doesn't mean that it's going to end or come crashing down you can see the histograms going nice you've still got more life in that histogram there on the macd do you see that and then the lines they're starting to go up a bit but still relatively healthy the rsi on the on the on the daily is not too bad actually because you can see you know you are quite up there compared to the other blow off tops that you've had for v chain but don't forget we are in a bull market we are in a bull market okay and and this sort of 
this sort of thing is going to be very commonplace in in a lot of the projects okay and and it's sort of what's happening now is you, your big caps are going right this is called alt season you've had you've had the low cats like your harmony your holo chains and all that because it's like i outlined yesterday's video what happens is bitcoin goes up okay then the market catches up with it and usually it's sort of mid caps go which they did okay then the low caps went do you remember holo sort of caps like that that, that, that just absolutely exploded 55 60x i think i think um chilies went something like 60 70x in two months okay and now that's hitting a level of consolidation it's still looking relatively healthy but I would expect that to sort of kind of creep its way back up before it actually finds a new leg up. And that new leg will be when sort of VeChain and, and all, the, all the big blue chips, because VeChain's turned into a bit of a blue chip project now, okay? It's, it's a beer moth. It's become a beer moth in the crypto space. It's, it's already been around for a long time, okay? It's showing signs of strength. So it's all good. It's all good, basically. So that's what's going to happen. You're going to sort of get this big run up and then it will blow over and it will go sideways and consolidate. Then your low caps will come into gear again. It's just a, it's just the market cycle of crypto. But we do need to keep an eye on Bitcoin as always because it is painting a very sort of um, worrying pattern at the moment with the pie cycle top. Okay, And that's something you do need to be aware of because each time that that pie cycle top indicator is shown, within three days bitcoin made a top and rolled over and, and formed a 40 to 50 percent correction which in in my opinion is is actually long overdue for bitcoin we've not had that retest of the weekly 20 year may there f for many many months i think since um november it's the last time it touched that and in the previous bull runs it's always always come down to touch it and it hasn't so far and a 40 percent correction would do that so that's why i always say you know don't get too greedy don't get too greedy. Take profits where you can, okay? And then, you know, if it's if it shows levels of support on the way down and it's holding, great. Then re-enter. Accumulation game, okay? Not financial advice. You do what you want, but I'll just tell you the truth from what I see. So, yeah, they're the levels that we need to keep an eye on. And you can see it's pushing up. It's looking beautiful, fee chain. It's marching on, okay? Marching on. So, if it was to roll over here, hit its head on this, then you would see that roll over, okay? And then it forms a new swing low because this is what happens. Swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low. And that's your base. Do you see that? It's a previous base. And like I said to you, what you usually see on, on a swing high, it usually goes up. And if it does blow over, you, you will sort of see it come back down to the swing low. And if it does that and holds that that in itself without touching the, the the yellow line there or the red line shows that it's a really strong trend and it's just being supported by the previous swing high do you see that so effectively what you might have here, it might go up okay and hit, sort of hit its head and roll over and then cut, form like a swing low before it makes another swing high and it, it's how it does it, everything moves in waveforms and you want it to move like that how i've said and outlined in so many videos here okay you want it to go up nice and gradually you don't want this verticalness okay a lot of projects have done that and look at what's happening to them now they're like 40 50 percent down and they've corrected quite a lot so it's all good it's all good I'm not, I'm not on bear. I'm just saying exercise with caution and, and take profits where you can. And obviously, you're going to get better entries uh, from, from this point now in, if you've not already got into VeChain. So, yeah, until we until we do find that sort of roll, because right now, when things are in price discovery, it's really difficult to chart any sort of thing going forward, any levels of support, sort of future price prediction, so to speak. I know we've got an exuberant one up there, right? But at the minute, you have to target on what, what is now. And you can see you're approaching this. Are you approaching this 141, okay? See a level of resistance there, sort of pull back a bit and hopefully smash through that. But I, I would expect it to hit its head on that um, 0195 sort of sense there and, and sort of hit a level of resistance and potentially start to roll over and come back and correct, just like it did here when it got a little bit overextended, rolled over, found that nice level of support. Because what we can do when we do get that top, we can find the retracement, okay? Just like we did here, where we found that retracement and we had the targets in here where we got the corrective wave and then the next impulsive wave move up giving this prediction from that point there where we get the rollover the corrective wave we can start to form a new prediction for, for vchain it's all good everyone please stay tuned stay strong stay safe and and also i set a patreon group thing up uh, after a lot of people were saying set something up i'd like to support you so that's great um i've had a few patreons already and thank you to everyone that's contributed to that it's amazing thank you really a lot yeah there is an issue with the links. I'm going to f sort that out. I'm going to spend some time actually try and tackle that issue. It's a bug with YouTube or something when you click on it and it, it's not the correct link. But um, anyway, on Patreon, it's Coins Kid if you want to check that out. And uh, once again, thank you for your support and the really nice comments that I get across the channel. It's all good. It's all good. We're in a bull market to the moon. Take care. Bye bye.